Hi my dear fitness friends, today we have a back and bicep focused workout to do. So I'll be using my barbell, my dumbbells, my kettlebells, and truly, I say this all the time, with a few little modifications, you can get this whole workout done with dumbbells, okay? So I have a short to about a pair body weight warm up that I'll be doing, it's only four minutes. If you need more than that, please push pause and get it done, and then meet me on the mat for this workout in just a minute. All right, guys, I'm ready to hit start. We've got 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, starting with a bear walk push-up. So get into that bear crawl position, hovering your knees. You're gonna walk your hands forward to get a push-up and then walk them back to your bear hold. So walk them forward, push-up, walk them back. Walk your feet back, push-up. Walk them to the bear hold. Nice job. You're just staying right here, starting to breathe, starting to allow your body to move. I'm gonna turn that timer up for you so you can hear it. We're pairing this with a plie squat, reach and touch down. So toes and knees are out. Hands come up, breathe it in and out. Squeezing your glutes and hamstrings, really opening up your chest and your back. Smiling. Feeling graceful, but strong. Back to your bear hold. Bear walk push-ups again. While you're here in this timing timer set, allow your body to move and warm up, but also get your mind set on the intentions of this workout for you today. Why are you here? Why did you choose to come and get stronger and get sweaty today? Nice job. Plies again. Even if it's just to smile, to feel good, to sweat, to get out of your body or out of your mind and into your body. Work out some stress and anxiety, or just simply leave that at the door. Your choice, it's your workout. Bear holds again. Hover those knees. I'm gonna walk my feet out first this time. Got a push up, walk it in. Hands come out, push up. Get back. Make sure when you do those push ups that they are very intentional muscle movements. Your face is looking up, your chest comes to the mat, your elbows are out at a 45 degree angle. Clear squats again. Pick up your pace maybe a little bit. Two and one. We are on our final round in this warm up. And we're moving up into a drop set. So hovering those knees, taking what you need out of this last 40 seconds of our warm up. This is a back and bicep focus workout, but of course we will be getting our entire body, especially because we're starting off with man makers in our drop set. Don't get scared, get strong. Five seconds, three, two, and one. Okay. Moving straight on our drop set, we're gonna go through these three moves three times total, okay? Man makers, two reps, three different rate, weights, okay? So I'm gonna start with 25s, drop to 20s, and then drop to 15s. Let's get it started, don't even think too much about it. Hop it back, 
Push up row. Push up row on the other side. Hop it in. And press. One more at your heaviest weight. Drop your weight. Like I said, I'm dropping to 20. Two more reps. One. Dropping down one more time. 15 pounds, two more reps. Let's go. One, one more. move in our drop set. This move we're only doing with two different weights. We're doing single arm bench rows. Five reps, both weights, okay? So, only one dumbbell. I'm going to start with 30 and then drop to 25. Hitting one arm and then the other. So a bench row only means that you're going to put your knee and your hand on the bench, rowing it up to your hip. One, two, three, four, five. Dropping down to 25s. Get five more. One, two, three, four, five. Switching arms. Five and five. Pull this out on the angle here. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Drop it down. Five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Nice work. And our final move in this drop set is bicep curls. So you're going to do eight reps with a wide bicep curl, and then eight reps of a hammer bicep curl. I'm gonna use the same weight because it's the style of the, of the bicep curl that makes it like a drop set, okay? So we're going with 12s. So wide bicep curls, elbows stay pinned to your body, hands go out wider. One, two, three. Control the negative, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it in, hammer head style. Hands are palms are facing your body. Eight more, one, two. Shoulders are down and back. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice work. First round of our drop set is done. Going on to round two, evaluate the weights that you chose that you used. Was it hard enough? Was it too easy? Make some changes if you need to. Okay, let's get our land makers again. I'm gonna up my weight this time. I'm gonna start with 30s. Drop down to 25, and then drop down to 20. If you can do it, boss up. Let's go. Two reps. One. Two. 
dropping it down to 25. Don't cheat yourself out of great things. You came to work, so let's do that thing. Come on, two more reps. Medium weight. One. Last two at your lightest weight. Check yourself. What is your head saying? What is running through your mind? Sometimes it helps just to focus on the movement. 
Movement is medicine. Allow it to do the work. One. Single arm rows. I'm going to go with that 40 again. What are you working with? Starting on this side, just because I'm here. Five and five. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Drop into 30. One, two, three, four, five. Get that other arm. Put a smile on your face. You're at the end of this drop set. One, two, three, four, five. Drop it down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and put this out of my way. Grab your dumbbells for your bicep curls. Start with the eight wide. Stand up tall, shoulders down and back. Elbows in. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hammer style. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Drop it down. That is the way to knock out a drop set. Way to go. Tabata pairs. We've got two Tabata pairs to work through next. So let's hit it. We got an alternating single arm kettlebell swing. So you're swinging to switch arms. We're pairing that with a seated knees to chest back fly. So all that means is you're gonna sit on your seat and hinge forward to get that back fly in this position, okay? I'm gonna hit start right away. So single arm swing, I go with my 40. Get in a swing position so the kettlebell's out in front of you to start. 20 second intervals, just like our warm up. Squeeze those glutes. Working that entire posterior chain with the swing. Three. back fly. Going with my twelves. Shoulders down and back. Using those rear delts to pick up that weight. The weights are touching behind my legs. I should mention that <laughs> when I come down, bring them down behind my legs. Swings again. challenge to get uncomfortable to be stronger 
mentally and physically. I know not everybody gets this. Some people might question, why do you do this? You can try to explain it to them. But whatever you do, don't apologize ever for giving yourself this time. You deserve this time. You've earned it. And no one can take that away. And think about it, what an investment, right? What better time is there to invest in your health? Invest your time in your health. Two, one, I mean, I can't think of a better investment, especially now. Last round of swings. These twat of bears go so fast, especially when I'm talking. <laughs> Last 20 seconds in this pair. Nice job. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. We got one more Tabata pair. We're doing an easy bar or barbell or dumbbells, whatever you're working with. Plank hop to high pull. Then we're doing a switch lunge to a single arm clean and press. So you're gonna be naturally switching arms that you're cleaning and pressing with. For that, we're gonna go with a 25 and a barbell for the other move. So set yourself up for success. Grab your equipment, get your other equipment out of your way. Last thing you want to do is trip on the equipment that you left out, so keep it clean. Okay, hitting start. 10 second countdown is on. Plank hop, high pull is first. So get that full plank hop, hop up directly above that weight. High pull. You don't like that high pull motion. Change it. This is your workout. Go ahead and do a bent row. Go ahead and do a front raise. Make it work for you. I know a lot of people don't like the high pull. And that's okay. We're doing a switch lunge to single arm clean and press. So I've hopped a switch. Grab that weight. Clean press in that lunge position. Hop to switch. Press, keep that core tight, will help you balance. Nice, fought for it. Squeeze those glutes. They are a huge muscle. Use them. Switch lunge, clean and press. If you find that clean and press to be too awkward in the lunge, you can go ahead and drop your knee. That's a good modification. Breathe it out. Focus on that breath. Allow it to fuel your muscles. Allow it to breathe out any of those competing thoughts you might be having. If you're like me, I start to think of all the things 
that I need to get done sometimes. And I think, like for example, when I said I was cleaning up my weights, I was thinking I've got to take a garbage bag upstairs to my boys' room and clean up a massive toy cleanup up there. That's what I always call it in my house. So it's time for a massive toy cleanup. But I'm trying not to think about that right now. Right now, I'm focusing on my cleaning press. I'm focusing on me. Focusing on the fact that I gave myself this time to work out. So that later on, I will be more effective, more patient. And more likely to allow Max to convince me not to throw out any broken toys. <laughs> but to be a better person, that's why we're here. You are here to be better. And I know for a fact, when I give myself this time, I'm better at what I do later, no matter what that is. Even if that's making a healthy choice for my lunch, I make a healthier choice when I know I put the time in here. Hopefully it helps the same for you. Let's go, last round. extension. I will show you what that means. Then we're doing a reverse grip burpee bicep curl. Then we're doing a barbell box squat and press. So the front held squat sitting. When you stand, you press that barbell up. All of these can be done with dumbbells. Okay, so halo, bicep curl to halo. I'm going to go with one single weight. Holding it with both hands. You bicep curl up. Halo until you get behind your head, tricep extension, and bring it all the way down and finish off that bicep curl, okay? That's one rep, and then you go back in the opposite direction. So I'll be using the 25, my 12s for the reverse grip, oh no, I'm gonna use, I'll probably use 20s for that, reverse grip for B, bicep curl, and the barbell for the other two moves. Five reps, five times through. I'm with you every step of the way, let's go. Hang for one, two, three, four, five. Drop it down, grab that single dumbbell for the halos and tricep extensions. Start with the hammer curl, or start with the bicep curl up, halo around, extend. Back down. That's one. Two. Three. Four. One more. Five. Set it down. Reverse grip push up. Bicep curl. You know what? I'm going with 25s. Told you guys to boss up this workout, so I better hold true to that too. Let's go palms face forward. Reverse grip push up. Hop it up. Curl. That's one. Control the negative. If you can't control the negative, reduce your weight.
five. All right, barbell, box, squat, and press. Front loaded, get to a seat, press when you stand. Make sure you're right in front of that seat. You don't wanna miss it. One, two, three, four, five. Deep breath, you're back to the top. Round two, five hang cleans. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, lows with the tricep extension. My suggestion is to go the opposite direction first to even it out. Come all the way down. One, you should be able to see your arms during this tricep extension. Two, breathe it out. Three, four, last one. I'm dropping to 20s for the reverse grip push up bicep curl. Because as much as I would like to boss up the 25s, <laughs> I'm not there. So always be honest with yourself. Train smart. Quality reps. Here we go. Reverse grip push up bicep curl for five. One. Squeeze your glutes. Three. Four. Five. Awesome. Reverse grip and bicep curl. yourself up for success every time. In your mind, 
in your space. Let's go. One. Six. My biceps 
on fire too. I promise. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one.
10. Drop it down. All right, combo move. It means we do 10 dumbbell cleans, 10 dumbbell push presses. So I'm gonna start with 20s. And I'll probably increase the 25s once we get to like round six. So dumbbell cleans, here we go, 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push press for ten using your legs. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Set them down. Handstand, shoulder tap, then switch lunge. You're doing a switch lunge just so that you switch the leg that you're kicking up with for that handstand. Make sure you have plenty of room. Take the time to clean out your area. If you don't like to do handstands, you do a pike leg kick up, so that would just look like this. Pike position, kick one leg up a little bit, okay? And then bring it down and through for your switch lunge. Bring that other leg back, okay? That might be a fun new move. I might put that in and work out sometime. Okay, here we go, handstand. Oops, I forgot. If you're doing that pike, you still do your shoulder tap. Shoulder tap, come down. Pop to switch. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Let's do it. Grab them on your back. Nice, slow, and controlled here. Lower backs pinned to the mat. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, last one, eight. Bring it up. Wide push up lateral raise, eight reps. Hands are out wider than typically. One. You guys, you made it this far. Do not stop now. You deserve this hustle. Three. Four. Five. Cleans and push presses. 
Grab it and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight pushes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven down. Handstand shoulder tap switches or pike shoulder tap switches. One. Six reps. I'm sticking with 20s. Let's go. One. Four. Burpee. 
lateral raises. Get that wide push up. Four reps. One. Two. I am increasing to 25 for these last two rounds. Boss up if you can. <laughs> Here we go. It's only four reps of each. One, two, three, four. Push press. One, two, three, four. Handstands. Let's go. One. Two. Three. You've got two. Finish it off. Let's go on your back. One, two, you should really be cheesing right now. Really smiling. One, two, step out of the way. Get your cleans. Get your push presses. Two reps. One, two. One, two. Drop it. Handstands, two reps, one, two, oh, that was awesome, that was so effective, such a good push, such a good mental health game, right? When you are here, when you give yourself this time, when you give yourself that push, you get uncomfortable, you get through it, you learn from that, you take it along with you outside. Okay, I love y'all so much. I'm Sven, I'm gonna replenish, I'm gonna rehydrate, I want you all to do the same, have a great rest of your day.